Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Monica. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And then also too, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me so I can follow you back. So I know I haven't posted a YouTube video in a really long time and I've been posting a few makeup videos on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, I actually just wanted to have better lighting, work on, you know, the backdrop and stuff like that. I actually got my stand not too long ago. Um, with this whole COVID thing, you know, everything just took forever to come in the mail and just like Amazon was running a little bit behind and FedEx or, you know, but anyways, um, so for my birthday, my boyfriend built me my dream vanity and it was actually fun because him and I worked on the project together and it actually came out really good and I'm still So I have five drawers on each side, five on the left and five on the right. So the first drawer is just going to be a bunch of setting sprays. I have toothpaste, Urban Decay, Icon, the Jeffree Star one I just got, Mario Badesco, Milani, NYX, Wet n Wild, my mom made um, sleeping mask, just a little fan to dry the setting spray. Then the second drawer, I have a bunch of lipsticks. This is just like for reds. And then just like a bunch of glosses, matte lipsticks. I got a little bit of everything in here, different brands. And then this drawer is going to be mainly for my sunglasses. I have more sunglasses. I just got to find where I put them because I do go to the river and stuff a lot. I mainly lose some sometimes, but we ain't going to talk about that. And jewelry, of course. This is my stand so it's just my ring light um the stands right here and then just so i know where it's at and just like little stuff that to re i used to record we ain't gonna we ain't gonna tell anybody about this drawer right here but this is my mexican candy drawer pretty much i would like to put any candy in here just because i do like to snack but that's just for me to know and i guess you guys know because you know you guys are watching this video And this is my Jeffree Star drawer. Besides these glitters right here. These are, this is just like a bunch of different loose glitter. Like Anastasia glitter. Next glitter. So this row is just glitter right there. But I do have. But I have the blood sugar. The blue blood. Conspiracy. Alien. The blood lust. Here. This freaking cute look. Purple is my favorite color. So I'm in love with that thirsty mini breaker so i just have like a bunch of stuff by jeffree star i love him and then up, then i have a bunch of and this is just a uh, more palettes i have color pop color pop palettes right here morphe palettes mini cosmetics those are colors jacqueline hill I have two Morphe palettes, and then at the bottom I have the James Charles palette, Juvia's palettes right here. Then we got some Tarte, Essentials. This is the BoxyCharm palette that they came out with. Got another Jack, the mini Jaclyn Hill palette right here. The Naked Heat palette, all-time favorite palette right here. And the Born Tip. So these two, I would say hands down, favorite neutral nude colors to go to have the Daisy Marquez palette and I have all the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes back there then this drawer right here is mainly for my loose powders my bronzers my highlighters my uh, iconic illuminator um highlighter and then I have like the Fenty contour sticks and just a bunch of stuff like that that's like cheeks and yeah whatnot but yeah, I got my all-time. I have my all-time favorite right here, the Derma Blends. I absolutely love the settings better. 
I absolutely love the setting powder. Got some Becca, Erstan, Hula, Ulta, ColourPop, MAC. Some Too Faced. This one smells bomb. Re Makeup Revolution. I have some more Ulta products down here, like different. Um, that's a Tarte palette right there, but that's one like has bronzers and stuff. Too Faced, Jeffree Star, Too Faced, Steve Lawrence. Fenty, Ofra, uh, Milani, some more Fenty, some Becca, some Kylie. So yeah, just a bunch of everything in there. Of course, I had to dedicate a drawer just to my lashes. Absolutely love lashes. I just feel like they make the look stand out more and pop out. So this one right here, this Tarte one, it actually doesn't have any lashes because these are the ones that I'm wearing right now. And... As I said before, I love Tarte because they're cruelty-free. These are super cute, expensive, but really, really cute. These are like my natural to-go-to, and these are like the, the Kiss lashes. But yeah, I'm almost done. This is uh, the flirty ones. But yeah, I mean, I love lashes. If anyone wants to send me lashes to try, DM me. And last but not least, I have my backups of a little bit of everything. So I have blue setting powder from Juvia's Place, Real Technique sponges, Eco sponges, Jeffree Star, Makeup Remover Wipes. Has some face masks. I have a bunch of face masks in here. Have a bunch of face masks. <clears throat> have the mascara I just got. Some more sponges. My all-time favorite Anastasia Stick Foundation all-time favorite so these right here i had to have backup because these are my go-to's like i use these a lot this is the one i just got the derma blend um the setting powder as i stated it's my favorite so i had to get a backup one and then and then i got the brazilian bum bum soul lotion you know this smells bomb all right guys and that concludes pretty much my vanity so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys some of the stuff i purchased um throughout the whole you know quarantine and stay at home order or whatever that we had going on the first item that i have is this billy eilish shirt and for those of you who know me i'm a huge billy eilish fan and i was actually talking to one of my friends so this is what it looks like and let me just pull it up a little bit more. So this is the one with the tarantula in her mouth, but this is a, this is a freaking dope shirt and I can't wait to wear this. I was actually just talking to one of my friends and I was telling her that I want to go to a concert. So hopefully it happens eventually. But yeah, so normal price for this, let's see. So the normal price for this shirt is like about $23. I don't know if you guys can see it's like 22 something but 23 you know just round it up so the shirt was 23 dollars but there was a sale and also too i never ordered anything from hot topic so i also got like i believe a 15 percent discount and i got a gift card so for this the total for this shirt was i don't know if you guys can see that it was 17.27 so like almost 18 dollars which isn't bad honestly um this isn't the only thing i got i actually also got some cute jewelry and a disney bag so i'm still waiting on those next i'm going to be showing you guys my boxy charm box that i got and i'm not on the pr list or anything like that i wish i was i actually purchased this myself but um, this is May's box and like I said, I didn't open anything or do any reviews or anything like that just because I wanted to do one video with everything that I purchased. So yeah, let's see what this May box included. So as you can see, it actually, you know, it's actually funny for most of my um, boxy charm boxes, I don't even get this in there anymore. This is like the first since the beginning of the year, but I actually got one. This is really cute. This was for the Mother's Day one. So the first product in the box that I see is this Elms product and their facial pads it states. So it's like pretty much it helps you clean out any um, makeup that you have on your eyes and stuff like that. And the value of this is $59. It says dynamic reversing facial pads are, power are powered by Elms. 
added tri-enzyme technology combined with a mass lactic acid and probiotic ferment complex to gently yet effectively smooth the skin luminous complexion so this is what that is the next product is this dose of colors and it's a lipstick and this is in the shade cinnamon girl and let me just go ahead and show you guys what it looks like so. oh that's a really pretty color let's see if you guys can see that I love, I love me some nude lipstick, so like as you can tell right now, I'm wearing a nude, but honestly, nude goes with like any makeup look, so I'm actually very excited to try this. So this one is $17, and it states, the satin lipstick is a richy pigmented formula in between a matte and creamy finish. Its unique shape allows for a smooth and precise application. So I also received this vulgar eyeshadow primer, and this is worth $22, and on here it states, Uncaged eyeshadow primer is a blendable, lightweight skin smoothing formula that will enhance your eyeshadows by making them vibrant and long-wearing, infused with a minimal rich clay to absorb excess oil. Ooh, I'm really excited to try this vulgar eyeshadow primer just because I feel like it might actually enhance the way that some of the eyeshadows blend in together. I also got this essential eyeshadow palette. This is what it looks like. So this palette is worth $29 and this is what it looks let me show you guys and this is what it looks like hopefully these eyeshadows are really pigmented I'm not gonna swatch them just because I want to do a review on this box by itself and then give you guys my opinion the last thing I got is this Tarte makeup remover and cleanser I'm actually really happy that I received this in my box because I love Tarte products. They're vegan and cruelty free friendly. So yeah, I mean, the, actually the lashes I'm wearing right now are by Tarte. But yeah, this one is valued at $18. And it's a pretty decent size. I feel like this would actually last me a really long time. So that was the main boxy charm box that I got. And I mean, I'm really happy with the products I received. There's sometimes, like some months that I get boxes, I'm just kind of like iffy about it. But this was a really good box. So the next products I'm going to be showing you are from Boxy Pop Up. And these were on sale. So the first product is this Becca Lip Pencil. And I mean, the box is kind of messed up. But I'm not like really upset about it because I'm not going to be using the box. But yeah, this is in the shade Charming this is what it looks like so on one side you have I believe this is a sharpener so if you look really closely you can let me see you guys can see that's a sharpener and then on this side that's for the lip part if I am mistaken and this is not a sharpener please correct me because I feel like oh look hmm I've never seen that before. I wonder what this is for. Maybe the inside is a sharpener and this is like to kind of clean it up or something. I don't know. But we're going to find out. So there's that. They didn't give me my receipt. So I'm not really sure how much I spent. But I think together maybe it was like 30 bucks or something like that. The only thing that I was really excited for like to purchase from the Boxy Pop-Up was this uh, facial moisturizer. And the only reason I remember is because this was $10 and bitch if you know this shit's like 30 bucks but i'm really excited because i wanted to try a new moisturizer just because my face is kind of dry especially like around my t-zone area and i usually use a vino but i use that for like years and i felt like it was time for a change that's why i got the it so i'm really excited for this and then i also got these brushes right here i'm not 100 sure like how much they were but they are really soft I love me some soft brushes. I also got me these sponges right here. It came with four. I want to say this was like no more than five dollars. I don't want to say it was like maybe four to five bucks. So got that. So got this detox um massage sponge looking thing. And I just feel like my body needs to be scrubbed in order for it to be clean. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Next thing I got was these Moda brushes. Once again, my Seems like my boxes are like all open and smashed, but 
like I said, I'm not mad. I'm not too worried about the box. I'm not going to be using the box to do my makeup. I'm going to be using the brushes, but got these. So in total from the boxy pop-up, I purchased six items. I wish I had my receipt and I don't have it right now. Um, they didn't send me one, so that's a little bummer. And then I made two purchases from Morphe because I saw that they were having a sale. And you're going to hear me say that a lot. A lot of the purchases that I make is when stuff is on sale. Like, I want to save money and I love makeup. And if I'm going to do shopping, I'm trying to save money, like I said. So, so this is a Morphe 8 brush set. You guys can see it right here on the back. And the thing I like about this is that it also came with a bag. So I was really excited about that. And I also got these Catch Me Eye by Morphe. And this is the six brush set. And this is what the brushes that it comes with. Like this box a lot. And I believe these are just the brushes. So let me show you guys. Yeah, see, so these are the brushes that all came in there. Didn't get a receipt with this either, so I'm assuming they're trying to do everything, like, by phone or something. I don't know, I'm going to have to look it up for you guys, but next time I know to be prepared. The day before uh, my birthday passed, it was in April, I actually got a few gift cards, and one of the gift cards I got was from Ulta because that is my favorite store to go to. I love Sephora too, but I feel like I prefer Ulta over Sephora. There was a sale at Ulta, and I got all this on sale, and I think I spent maybe my total was like $60, and then I had a gift card for $20 or $25, so I spent like 30 or 20 I don't know because then I also had points I had a I think I had six dollars off my old to reward points and then off of one item I applied the three dollars and like 15 cents or something like that but I got a really good deal on the stuff that I got and I'm really excited about so I got these Morphe sponges right here really cute hey it actually like matches my backdrop look at it kind of in a way Ooh. <laughs> So that was that and then I got this Smash Smashbox mascara I actually never used this before so hopefully it works good because this was like 15 bucks so normally I think it's like maybe like $30 so it was 50% off so yeah and then I got this Juvia's Place loose powder and this is in the shade white sand I got this e.l.f. concealer and I don't know just kind of by looking at it I feel like it might be a little too dark for me a little too brown but um, yeah I think it's gonna be just like a little too dark just because I prefer my concealer to be lighter underneath my eyes you know because it makes the tired uh, the tiredness of the bags go away but yeah, I might have to return this. And last but not least from this Ulta purchase, I got this Jeffree Star um, Setting and Refresh Mist Spray. On the back, it says Jeffree Star Approved. So, let's see how it smells. So I'm just going to spray a little bit just because I want to see how it smells. Ooh, it smells good. It smells like, it smells very fruity. If you guys purchase this, let me know what you guys think. I haven't used it, so I'm excited. Since we're talking about Jeffree Star, let's open up this cute Jeffree Star cosmetics thing that I purchased. I love how he always puts like this different cute tissue paper in there. So in here, Here, I actually got three different lip glosses from him, and these are all matte. So this is Red Rum, this one's Calabasas, and this one's Gemini. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do like a full 360 look for you guys. So yeah, these these three were 65.13, and the only reason I know that is because he did in fact send me the receipt and I can't show you the front because it does have my address but yeah so I got these right here and actually the 
And the matte lipstick I'm using right now is this one right here. And this is called Indragony. And this one's by Jeffree Star as well. I have to say this one is by far my favorite matte lipstick. And I just feel like it doesn't come off. You know, it stays elastic. So, I don't know. I also got this picture right here. That's Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. This is actually really cute. I have this other one. Um, I'll show you guys because I have it right here. This one right here from his Bloodless palette. So I'm going to add these to my vanity just because these are freaking cute. I also purchased this Blood Sugar palette right here. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have it, but I didn't have it. And I had to get it because, you know, I'm trying to build up my makeup collection from Jeffree Star. So these are the colors. And I got the Conspiracy palette. this is what it looks like i believe both of these palettes were both 50 dollars so and the last thing i got from the jeffree star is our this is this right here let me just go ahead and show you guys and if you guys don't know what this is it's actually a stand for your lipstick so really happy about these can't wait to put these and put all my lipsticks on there so this is the last purchase i made and i also had a gift card and i got this for my birthday as well so i got this it's a beth and bath body works and this bag was a hundred and ten dollar value and let me just show you guys because this was so worth it thirty dollars for this Right here VIP I say it was really well worth it because I think I had I think the gift card was 25 or 30 dollars so the products I got is uh, the strawberry pound cake and let's see how it smells oh it smells really good it's actually kind of like fruity in a way and I got this Mmm, it smells so good. It smells like a cake or a cupcake or something. I don't know how to describe it, but it smells good. You got this lotion right here. Let's see. Mmm, this smells so good. It smells like so refreshing. I, fr I love Bath & Body Works. I love Bath & Body Works. Like, their stuff is just like... Mmm, so refreshing. This is a... The body load, uh, bo sorry, this is a body shower gel. Cactus, this is a cactus blossom shampoo. Let's see what this smells like. Mm, oh my gosh. So I like the hand soaps that have the essential oils in it because I just feel like it leaves my hands smelling real, like smelling good and also really soft and moisturized. It also came with this strawberry pounds cake hand lotion. So it's actually kind of small, but that's because it's like um, the one that you could carry in your purse. I got this spray. Let's see. Mmm, it smells so fresh, dude. This smells so good. And then the last thing that came, ooh, this is a cactus blossom candle. <sighs> dude, <sighs> it smells so good. Like, top, like legit, no joke. Thirty bucks. The bag, the tote bag, candle, the spray, the hand sanitizer, the hand lotion. The body lotion, the shower gel, the small little lotion, the hand soap, like, you know, like, if you shop at Bath & Body Works, you know that this, like, all of this that I got is well over $30, so well worth it, and I'm really happy that I got it, and like I said, I had a gift card too, so I didn't really spend a lot, and then... I actually also made some other purchases because they were having a sale. So it was buy three, get three free. And then I had a free birthday gift purchase. So let me show you guys what else I got. The shower gel right here. I believe I got another one. Got this one for myself. And then I got this one for my boyfriend. This one smells really good. Like it 
you know girl you know this smells bomb and if you haven't get this for your man because this is bomb got this beach coconut body lotion right here let's see how it smells Mmm, it smells so refreshing, dude. Sometimes I wish I could just eat these lotions. Like, they smell so good. Got this Bahama ones, too. I really love, like, the background. This one smells good, too. Kind of matches, like, my eyeshadow. Look at In a way, kind of, like, the yellow and the pink. No? No? It's just me? Yeah, maybe it's just me. Then I got this body scrub. Oh, dude, this one smells bomb. I think this one's my favorite out of all of them. But this is a body scrub, so it's not like a body lotion. And then my free birthday gift was this hand lotion right here. And it was like a little mini one. And then also, too, with all these purchases, I got I built up my points. And I got a free $16.50 um, gift. And I can't get that till like the next time they open back up. So hopefully they open up back soon. All right, loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Also, stay tuned because I am going to be doing a giveaway since I promised you guys a giveaway and then this whole pandemic thing happened. But I am going to be doing a giveaway. And also, too, I'm going to be doing more makeup looks with all this makeup that I got. And since, I mean, I invested a lot of money on my vanity, I invest a lot of money on my backdrop on just a bunch of stuff. My boyfriend and I spent a lot of money. And then also too, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me, reach out to me on my Instagram, DM me, whatever it is. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you guys have. I'm going to be zooming in just so you guys can see a closer look on this makeup look that I did.